Hello everyone, it's Red Baron here, and I'm going to be going over a spending guide. I've had a lot of people asking what they should be spending on uh, pack-wise, and then as well, some of the other features that you can spend money on. So I will dive right into it. I guess I'll start off by showing you where I am at with my Ellie points. Um, yes, I am a spender. Um, so I have 36,694 Ellie points. I've had this for a while, though. I haven't really been buying anything recently, probably in the past month, um, except for the 10-day pack that I'll be going over later. So this is where I'm at right now. Um, you know, Eventually, maybe I'll be able to get to these, but at this point, I don't see myself spending too much more in this game. But I will gladly help you guys pick out what is best for you to purchase. That way you continue to progress quickly in the game. Some quick pointers on kind of how I have addressed my spending. I would say that I typically don't buy anything if it's less than 500% gains. So um, these two items I sometimes occasionally will buy, not every day though, or not every week, um, but it is something that is not too bad to buy. The biggest things that you're going to want to get are the daily special. So you get this, um, and it is going to be, I believe, for 10 days, and it's about uh, 30 USD, and it gives you all of these re rewards. The biggest, of course, being the active and passive curio selection chest, which gives you the opportunity to get better active curios. Beyond this one, I would recommend getting passes. So if you're a lighter spender, just get the monthly and season pass and then the permanent pass because these are things that are going to greatly increase, especially early on if you're just starting the game and you want to spend just a little bit of money. Uh, these two passes and the permanent pass are going to be what you want to spend it on just because of the benefits you get every single day for playing. And then the permanent pass, right off the bat, you're going to be getting this extra team reward um, from this Curio for using the monthly and season pass. And then on top of that, you're going to be getting treasure hunt chests right off the bat if you're starting off with this. And then every week on Monday, it resets. So you'll be getting these rewards for the entirety of the game every single Monday at reset. So it's pretty nice to get this one as well. I also get the stage breakthrough passes. So you get one for void break and wholeness. Um, and what it does is it just gives you extra tokens as well as Fatim. You get this no matter what, but with the advanced benefits for $15, you get all of these extra tokens. So for void break, Spearland tokens. For wholeness, you're getting demon fate tokens. And as you progress, uh, which you'll be doing anyway, you're going to be unlocking each of these targets. And by doing so, you're getting extra tokens for Curio pulls, which is going to help increase your BR pretty significantly. And those are the things that if you're going to want to spend on the game, I would 100% spend on. Everything after this point is going to just be how much do you want to spend. So you have flash sales. And every single day, I do get the free pack, the 100 for team pack, and occasionally if I have extra for team, I'll get the three or 500. Of these packs, the ones that you'll want to get early on, probably the pet pack you'll want to get, it's pretty good. The forge stone pack you'll want to get every week because these forge stones, especially later on, are just very difficult to come by. And then the technique pack here is daily. And that's also something that you can get occasionally. It's a pretty good um, pack to help boost your techniques. Ads, this is a daily thing. So if you're spending, you're going to have a bajillion ad pack skips. So just spend those every day and get these packs. For weekly events, uh, I typically would spend all the way up to, I'd get the special pack. And then all the way up to the $10 pack um, are things that I would purchase. I haven't been doing this recently, but it is something that is pretty beneficial early on to focus on that. 
um, and get all of those rewards for your weekly events. Once you go past that $10 mark, the rewards are pretty insignificant. So you can see the special pack goes up to 65, uh, 50 um, of your Thunderite, but the $20 pack, so five extra dollars, it's the exact same reward and less Fatim. You're only getting 10 more of the Thunderite. So that's when I would typically stop spending, but if you're a heavy spender, um, I mean, a lot of whales are buying. And this is new, the weekend pack. I have never bought any of these before. Um, if I was going to buy any, 100% buy the elemental law pack because that is something that's difficult to get are those nature mantra. And then beyond that, um, you know, if you're stuck with your pet, you can do this rare essence selection chest. So that way you're getting some of those rare essence to continue leveling your pet. Um, and then it's always nice to have those epic curio shards and those shards are needed to advance your curios so that's also going to be something beneficial you shouldn't really ever need to buy this demon face stone pack um, you should have plenty of demon face stones just by playing the game um, so i wouldn't waste any money on that one the item shop i never really spent in unless i just needed something specific um, so early on, occasionally I would buy the curio packs. Those are always nice because you're getting those tokens. Um, elemental law packs, the immortal friend pack is good. These are all more expensive with not as high of a reward. Um, so I typically would not buy any of these. I wouldn't really get any pet packs except for early on. I would get this $10 one, um, occasionally just because I needed to continue leveling my pet. These Forge Stones ones are good. Um, like I said, it's hard to get Forge Stones later on. And then I would usually just get the cheaper weekly um, technique pack because it's going to help boost your technique leveling. And you'll be able to focus a little bit more on PvP if you have extra techniques compared to everybody, um, which is something that I was wanting to focus on. And then never, ever, ever buy the team packs. It's just a waste. You get them anyway from, you know, purchasing this technique pack, 180 for team or Destium. Um, so I've never, you know, bought any of these just because it's kind of a waste. Um, you're not getting anything beneficial except for Fatim. And if you're already going to be spending money on the game, you may as well spend it on something that gives you Fatim plus what you're actually needing. That is it for the pack store. You do have pop-ups. This is a gotcha game, so they're going to, of course, give you pop-ups. So how did I man manage these? So right now, I have a technique pop-up that has come up, and it's one of the time packs. So I typically would not buy anything less than 500%. Like I had mentioned before, that's just the marker I had set for myself. And the other thing is some things just are not worth spending on. So you will get Zodiac Relic time pop-ups, you'll get techniques, you'll get laws, you'll get immortal friends, you'll get curio token draw packs. Um, the only ones I would recommend really spending on, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, would be your Im immortal friends and law packs. Because those are going to be a lot more benef beneficial for you compared to these technique packs um, just based on the amount of money you're spending for the reward you're going to be getting. The last thing I'll talk about is the serendipity shop. So if you go to event at the very top here, every month this refreshes, it's your serendipity shop and it's where you buy the tombs, soul guide tombs for you to unlock new tower or ultimate friends for your ultimate array. So on this one, I get all the Fatim ones just because those are kind of free, I guess, if you're a spender. Um, I don't get this 800 one. Um, it's not really worth it that much. Um, but if you have extra Destium, you can use that one. And then, like before, I spend all the way down to the $10 one. Um, doing that is going to give you um, pretty much over 100 of those pulls that you can use for your ultimate array immortal friends. That's going to be it for the spending guide. Hopefully it was helpful for all of you guys and gives you kind of a glimpse into what you should be spending on if you're wanting to go that route. If you like the video, make sure you give it a like 
and continue subscribing to the channel so we continue to grow and I can continue making new content for all of you guys. I appreciate it. Thanks.